Hi guys, your friendly neighborhood Twitch. Looking like a hag raven. Um, I've got something pretty cool and different for you today. Using a basket from Kmart, which I think is supposed to sit like this on a wall. I think it was $9 or $6, I can't remember. Um, so I'm gonna turn that into something kinda cool. So stick with me. That's the first thing I'm going to do is unscrew this board off the back of it. I'm going to save that for something else, of course. It's really pretty and I can't waste things. <clears throat> so I'll put that aside and put this aside. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to fold that one that way. Alright, so that's the way I want them. So I'm going to actually flip them over like that. I'm just going to check that this is square. Then I'm going to measure this way. <clears throat> yeah, that measures 270, but I'm going to go a bit smaller so that this piece, you can't see it poking out at the top or the bottom. So I'm going to go 250. I was going to just do one screw for each plank, but I'm actually going to go in and put a second screw in each one. So for this one, I'm going to use the new, it's not new, but I got it the other day, so it's new to me. Um, Katsumili washed away shed door. Started putting it on and forgot to record. Um, now that I've done that, I'm going in with Carter Millie washed away coal.
All right, so now that that's all done, I'm going to put a stencil on. This one is called Fresh Eggs from Gemini Creative. I haven't used this one yet. So before I go in with my paints, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some Cartamelli top coat. This will not only help stick the stencil down, um, but because the top coat will bleed under, um, the top coat is bleeding under and sticking it down and that means that the paint when I put that on shouldn't bleed under. Alright, so that clear coat is dry and I'm going in with Carts and Millie cookies. I was going to go white, but I thought I'd stuff it. I've been painting a lot of white lately, I'll do something different. This is just a stenciling brush. Um, you can get them in a pack of three, in three different sizes. And you can get them from Capriol Shabby Chic. You can see an outline of the clear coat, but that will pretty much disappear. Um, so I'll let this dry and then I'll give it a light sand just to rough it up a little bit because I don't want it to be perfect. Um, it will also help level out any raised bits from around the edges. Um, and then we'll go from there. So now you can't see the outline where the top coat was under the stencil because it's been sealed and dried. And look at how well that grain shows up. It's turned out perfect. Yeah! Right. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and share. If you like any, want any of the products used in this video, you can find the links in the description um, next piece I'll be working on will be a restoration piece for a customer, so stay tuned. Thanks guys!